So, what are we going to do again? We are going to make this to look beautiful. So, first of all, we have to check the area of this place, the size of this particular place or this property. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So, we are going to go and then we go to tools. We come down to inquiry. We go to inquiry. You see area here. We click area. When you click area, you will start from here. Remember that survey go upwards. Point one, point two, point three, point four, and again to close it. Point five. You press your keyboard button to enter. You see area. So you simply copy it. To get copy, you right click. You after highlighting it. You right click to see this, and how do you highlight? You click, you press your mouse, left hand side, that is left click, and drag it back. Don't remove your hand. See, you have highlighted it. You press right click, you right click. Let us paste it somewhere. Then, if you come to any place, you have to paste. How do you do this? You right click it and you see this drop, drop down. And then, into it, you right click. You right click, you are seeing this drop down. So, you paste. As you can see here. It. If you want to erase, you highlight it. See it, you just tap on it. You can highlight it, then you right click. When you see this drop down, you erase. So that thing, I'll play that one. So we have seen it. If you want to edit it, you double click. See, okay. Double click, you see, square, square with one. I hope you will see it. If you want to, all of them to be in one line, you try this. See, so we have moved the area of this place now. We have moved the area, so you should type that one is to 500 to this. That is a for if you want to put it in a for no need of expanding it to another thing. So we are going to use a standard a for first of all. We we'll continue to, to down here. This place down this side, please follow my mouse anywhere it goes. So, down here you see both the two modes. You unlock the two modes, you come back again on the left hand side and click volume line. Volume line, you come to any environment you want, any environment. You, you pin the your volume line. Yes. You can see that it's been down. So we are going to use a suitable scale for it. That is info paper size. First of all, you press on right. You click on right in your keyboard. Enter. So don't worry. If you want it to go up, to go up. If it's down, you see that it shows. Is the one is the one making this this marks or 
um, is ready on those things. And again, I request your keyboard button down 45 enter. So, as far as you can press enter, it will give you a shape. So, we press again 100 enter. Then 145. 145 enter. You press again and then you press enter twice to use it. As you can see, we have enough it. So we have to move it. So how do we do this? You highlight. You just come to this on each. You see the this kind of to highlight. You will get click. If you let click, then you will right click to see this drop down. So you choose move. Move. You are moving it. So please, I want to off my window. So the work of the window is to go in a straight line. So I'm going to off it. I've off my window. As you can see, it can move in any direction. But if auto is there, I'm not going anywhere. So, this is it. And you can see. So, let me move it a little bit. Okay. This is it. Please remember, don't shift. Work not end. It's solving a lot of the job in the system. Please, if you change it, the very and sorry, the, the coordinates will change. That's that's one thing we have to do. And you, you can see that it's appropriate. So, what again are we going to do? We are going to add, add all the attributes we need. First, you come to school. We are going to insert. Let's insert it. First, let's insert our scale. So, you think in the daily presentation of our scale. So, we on our click and click holy line. We come to any environment. So we will press 25, 25, enter. We press 2, enter. We press 25 again. To close it, you press 2 again. I've seen it has closed, press enter again. So this is it. So we are going to play this. This one to come to. Your right hand side, you see X point. You see this put exploding points. You click the explode, go to the, the, the line you want to explode, and click and press enter in the button. Enter. You see, so that's put it on the, on the line. So, what I'm going to do again, we have to offset this. Offset is we are going to offset it one one now. So it represents one time. Press offset. This is offset. You click offset in your right hand side. Right hand side. Please be following my mouse and the way it goes. Right hand side. Same thing. So if you click and um, offset, you come to the environment. Or you press D, enter, then press 1, you search 1, enter. So you click this, you see, automatically. I hope you have seen it. Automatically, it has been marked So, what again I will going to do? So, what again I will going to do? So, Right click, you see this through now. Enter. So, we 
going to report that it's taking to 5 5 meters. That is, you reach to the end. You play constants. You press 5 5. Then you press again, enter. You click, you highlight the, the line you want to set and you right click because I'm doing it multiple times, so that's why I'm choosing it multiple, multiple times. So I hope you are seeing it too. I hope you are seeing what I'm doing or how to do this after. You, after the highlighting, you right click, you right click. After highlighting, sorry. Sorry. After highlighting, you right click to see this program. Come to it, then you we'll start by pressing or clicking left. Let's click, let's click, let's click on its image to the end. So, that is it. So, we are going to make it beautiful. So, we'll go to hatch. Hatch. We are going to hatch those places. So, let's click. See hatch. Please move them and it's close. See this drop down, these options. You come here, pick points, boundaries. We have to set the value where the patch show here, 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 here. Then you press your keyboard button and touch twice. You see, you will see what to do. So I'm going to add something. Our work is here. So I come here to click my bullet line. Make sure your auto is on. So to in order to make the, the line to go in a straight line. So you click here in any way you want. So you see so to to do this. You click your polling line, then you will draw the line to the anywhere you want, or the extent you want. Let's click it in, then you right click and press enter. So that's what I did. So, why did I do this? I want to extend this line, those lines. So, you come here to extend your right hand side, you see extend. Extend to extend our objects to reach the, the contents. So click, you let's click the, the extent you want to in the environment. Like here now, I will right click, I have right click, and you, you will left click. That's to extend those lines. See, I want to extend it. Yes, I'm done with extend. You right click, you click choose enter. Then I want to erase this. You highlight it and left click. Okay, sorry, you right click. Sorry, right click. You see this option, you choose erase. So we have to find what to use suitable scale to represent. We are using scale one to twenty-five. So I come to annotation, click annotation. So come to any environment and double click. Double click. First of all, I have to. Okay, then after this, I will off my tool. So, I have to name it as. Let me off my tool. 
Don't dance. So we have to push out the beads. What do you call here? Is copy selected. So press pass in. So right click and we see this drawing now and down. So we are going to adjust this. When you double click the this place, you know, five enter this is zero I hope you have used your scale before this is five this is ten This is 15. So we have to adjust it. I want to move it small. Yes. If I right, right click, remove. You guys have seen it. Oh, wow. oh, it is beautiful. So we have to highlight all of them. You okay, please let me show you how I do this. You will come here. Yeah, you left click. You drag it left side. You highlight all of them. And you want to move it. You right click and see move.
Young guys. What you are going to do is the clients the test. Please remember that.
Let's go. I want to remove the border. The border. Please, we are going to add it one after the other. I'm going to use a color pen, so that's one benefit of a color pen. I highlight all of them and come to label, as you can see. You click label and you see the drop down. This drop down. I come to choose, I will choose a add them. Choose them. And you can see it. As you can see. So I want to edit it because the first setting we said that we are going to see meta degree. Sorry, meta meter degree minute and second. That's what we said. So we don't need seconds here. We will remove seconds. Please remember, in some way, if you just get your mapping in your software. It does always be in sense. It does always be in submission to the person inside. And this one, you have to change it in my lights, right page. Please, you have to in detail of them and that's not them. So, as you can see, I'm making some adjustments. Click and click, move them in 
kitas Normally, I don't use this arrow, I just do one of them. So, you can see that our uh, work is going to. So, success. To be successful, so you can see. It's making sense. It's making sense. We have to add to what happens. So, please. Let's do a lot of them together. So what are we going to do again? How do we do it? Yes. Um, and you can start this way. I can do it.
this. I will 